So I just wanted to pause the video here guys and explain that when we travelled from Melbourne to France, we actually stopped off in Paris for about 48 hours. So that's why you see me wearing a summer dress. We wanted to feel refreshed and get used to the time difference before we headed to the French Riviera. Plus I also did some shopping I wanted to show you. And then later on in the vlog, I will pick up from when I went from Prague to Paris. Hi guys, so we're in Paris now. We just checked into the hotel, freshened up a bit, and then I've come out, might go check out Chanel quickly, but it's actually a Sunday and most shops are actually closed. So most important thing is that we need to find somewhere to eat. So let's go. think of this you can also wear it on the top handle like this here's some of the red range for their new collection some of the brooches that's pretty cute I'm gonna have a look at some of their SLGs Here is the trendy CC. I think I still prefer the traditional quilts compared to the larger size quilts. Business Affinity. What do you guys think of this little top handle? I think this is pretty cute. And this is what it looks like crossbody on me. Classic black in chevron in the grey with gun metal. I would love uh, another small classic black. So this is from the 19k collection, navy blue with the champagne gold, or do you guys prefer this one? Which is the grey and the big grey. guys that was a super quick dash I did pick up something from Chanel from the Rue Cambon store and they actually have opened up I think about a year ago if just up the road there is another Chanel so I got a little bit confused because we haven't been back here in almost two years anyway I got served by a lovely lovely SA I'm really looking for the Chanel heart earrings but apparently they haven't received them yet so I may come back another time to have a look at it but yeah the store was closing so I couldn't really look at everything I wanted anyway we are gonna go find some dinner now because we are starving hi guys so we are eating finally we're in Pedro Alta so I think they specialize in seafood and it is a full house. So we've got some oysters and seafood and yeah, it's just very, very busy. So our seafood feast has arrived. Just a whole selection of yummy seafood and it comes with fries and some soup. Let's dig in. Good morning guys. 
So today we are off to check out a couple of the stores and then obviously go eat. So what I was planning to do today is I'm at the George V store. I have not been to the newly refurbished store and I thought today, you know what I might do? I, I'm wearing an Hermes t-shirt, Hermes earrings and carrying my mini Evelyn bag. I thought let's try out wearing more Hermes and see if the service is any different. You know, a lot of the assumptions are you need to wear something Hermes to see if you get offered anything. Now, I've never been offered a bag in George V before. I've only bought a couple of accessories, but I thought let's just try it out. Let's see how we go. Um, you never know. So I'll report everything back to you guys, the good and the bad. So let's go check it out. So guys, just a quick update. We're just in the Uber at the moment, but if you were after a bag from George V, you've actually got to line up super early at the store. So they have about 30 appointments. So the hostess said you have to get there preferably about 9.45. The store opens at 10.15. And then basically the first 20 or 30, I think she said 30, get appointments for that day. So we were there about 11.30 and basically she told us, too late, all the appointments for the day are booked. You've got to come back the next day. So just to test it out, I went and asked for a couple of you know items that I was looking at in the scarves and obviously uh, rodeos or rodeos. And they didn't have any. The service was... Also, I mean, the man that served us was quite friendly, but the store was really, really busy. And that is the new store. Obviously, I couldn't film in there. Overall, the experience was okay. So where we're off to now is we're going to the Severe store and just to see if the appointment system is the same. So I will report back shortly. Okay, so we also checked out the Severe store and it's exactly the same system as George V. You gotta come to the store, line up super early. So I feel like it's how the old method used to be. And then usually if you're the first 10 to 15, you'll get allocated an essay straight away. And then the next set of 15 appointments, you get registered and then they'll send you an SMS uh, when your appointment time is. So that was interesting to know that both stores, that is the system if you want to score a leather appointment. Now this doesn't apply to scarves and it doesn't apply to, you know, homewares and all that. It's purely just for bags. And yes, all bags, not just Kelly Birkin constants. So I thought that was a very interesting update. We obviously didn't stay in the store that much, but I really did want to, since I was in Paris, to come and report the, you know, it's not really a new system. I think it's been going on for maybe the past year or at least the last few months that this is, that this is the system for both George V and the Severe store. we had to come back to Entrecote because hubby and I love the steak and the fries here so this is what we have and if I remember correctly the sauce is just divine because it's got a little bit of anchovies which they just don't make it the same back in Melbourne so looking forward to dig in so one place that we didn't get to visit last time was the department store 
which is called, please excuse my French because I suck at it, is Le Bon Marché. So we're gonna go in and have a look. I've always wanted to check out this brand, Yuzefi, some of their bags, but it's good to see them in real life. I like the, you know, the chain detail on it. Off-white and also this brand here. How would you pronounce that? I've seen this bag a lot. Oh, this is like a green version. And that's one of their newer styles. It's very interesting. So guys, I'm in Bottega at the moment and this is the cassette bag which I've been eyeing online but I wanted to try it in real life. So it is in lambskin leather and if you notice you can't actually see any stitch lines. See it's just it's really really nicely woven so it's a modern take on their traditional woven bags from what the sales associate was telling me it's super soft and it's quite roomy as well and this is the padded cassette bag I like the 3d effect of it the strap is shorter on this one what well, do you like the padded version better or do you like uh, the original version of the cassette one better look at all this ruching detail and so with the closure it has like a vintage aspect to it. You just open it up. It's just one big open space. And it's 1,900 euros here. It's just for me guys, I don't know that I would want an oversized clutch to carry it. Because you will have to carry it like this or like this. So there's something about this bag I actually really quite like. I mean I've always been a houndstooth fan. So this is a new style, it's like a rectangular mini with a top handle. This is the burgundy colour. How gorgeous is the shoe area? Look at this, look at this space. It's got all the different brands, Isabelle Morant, Jimmy Choo. What else? Gianvinto Rossi. Oh wow, look at this shoe. Perfect wedding shoe, I think. Look at all these sparkles. Love. Some Valentino shoes. Obviously all the rock studs. Some Sergio Rossi's. Hi guys, so today we're in the area of St. Michelle. As you can see, we're in the center part and that is the fountain behind me. Can you kind of see? Let's see if I can go up, there we go. So it's a beautiful day and we're just gonna roam around the streets and check things out.
So this takes us to the end of part one of this Paris vlog. As you can see, there's a very quick little snippet of what's happened in part two. But we were only in Paris for just under 48 hours because this was prior to going to the French Riviera, but I still wanted to share it with you. But you don't want to miss part two. I've got more shopping, more sightseeing, and I cannot wait to share with you what happened in Omez. So stay tuned guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye!